<laughs> they just lost. Yeah. Why? Because they love their mama. No, they just in that stage where they only love themselves. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's so, called yeah. getting older, man. Huh? That's called getting older. I I guess, but still. It's like at some point in time. Like I, try, I explained to them the other day. I said, you know something? It comes a point in the time in a person's life where they have to love more than just yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the world doesn't revolve around you, your feelings, you know, what you're doing, you know. It don't revolve around your life, you know. But something I learned about this younger generation, social media has fucked them up. That too. It's not just the, the rap music when we talk about that and how social no, media no, affects no. that. Social media, period. Yeah, 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 your TikToks, your Instagram, your Facebook, all and that shit. Yeah, it, it definitely. See, I mean, if y'all don't know, Facebook changed from Facebook to Meta in order to try to protect liability. So they move all their assets to a parent company, and they're still going to operate it as a separate entity that's totally owned by the parent company. So if you sue Facebook, you're not really touching the real bank. So that's a little mindfuck they did, because now they're understanding the way they build algorithms, how fucking these kids, <laughs> like they are destroying these kids, bro. It's amazing. Yeah. But you know, how do you feel about that metaverse? Because that's definitely coming. Have you ever seen a movie, uh, Ready Player One? You know, I heard of it. I'm not sure if I've seen it. All right, that is a. I heard somebody tell somebody else, you gotta go watch that movie. And we, uh, me and Kayla watched it that night, Bruh. Movie is like that. Steven Spielberg did it. That movie like that. And that looks like what the future's gonna be. I ain't gonna hold you. The movie, I mean the virtual world in the movie was kind of cool, but it's also shows that in the future nobody's really gonna care about anything else in the real world because you can just create your whatever you want. Yeah. You can just build your own reality and act like nothing else exists. That's true. But in that virtual world they had, it was lit. I ain't going to hold you. Like, you can literally go. They had a museum of the guy who built it. Mm -hmm. So the the plot of the movie is the guy who built this virtual world, which becomes the most successful company in the world because everybody's on vir- planning his virtual world now. When he dies, he leaves Easter eggs in the game. And whoever finds these three, uh, basically, keys, which are the Easter eggs he left in the game. Easter eggs are, for people who don't know, Things thrown into games that's hidden, but it's been there the whole time. And if you find it, you get, like, extra bonuses and stuff. It's not, like, well-known things, but a lot of games have Easter eggs or movies have Easter eggs in them. So he basically got these keys spread out, and everybody in the virtual world is trying to play to find these keys. And then it's an evil corporation that got, like, they enslaving people in the future to uh, force them to work for the company in the virtual world. So, yeah, man, it was it was a good movie. Really, really good movie. Like, the stuff they can do in the game mm-hmm. would be cool if you could do it in real life. Like, they went from being in a virtual world, they're watching a movie, and they jump into the movie. Like, imagine how that would be. If you had an opportunity to go jump into a movie and interact with that movie, how cool would that be? I mean, yeah, that shit would be fun. What would be the What would be the first movie that you would think off the top of your head you would go jump into? I don't know, man. I've been watching a lot of movies lately, so I definitely gotta. I don't know, bro. I would pull up on Smokey and Craig so fast. You know, you know the funny part is I just watched. I just watched. I all would three pull up Fridays. on them so fast, bro. Hey. <laughs> I'm saying that, like, that would be a lit experience if I can go pick a movie and actually go live the movie. Mm. Or, I don't know, because, like, me, honestly, my shit would be different. Like, I, instead of a movie, I'd probably be watching my fucking history channel and be like, oh, yeah, I need to go to this, you know, some shit like that. But uh, the only thing about that is, if you're watching it from there, like, you actually need the documentation to put you into that place inside the virtual land and shit. Because they could just make some shit up and cite you while you're there. Not At least you got records to go back up the movies you in or things like that. Uh-huh. But something that was also cool they had in it was uh, the guy built a memory museum. So say, if, for instance, if you die, all your memories, people can go visit it as a museum uh-huh. if you wanted them to. 
And you can pick and choose what memories will be there. But if you couldn't pick what memories, oh man, people going out bad in so many ways when you see what people do in their private life. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, man, if I could jump into a movie, I feel like Fast and Furious would be cool to do too. If I can jump into the Congo, do one of them jumps, that'd be all right. Or, you know, go do some adventurous shit. Because you know you ain't going to die. But one thing they did have in it was like these huge-ass battle royals. If you die in the battle royal, the person who kills you can collect all your coins. You, like, you lose everything. But you can gain so much, so it's like a huge-ass gamble. But yeah, like, that'd be cool to do, too. You know what I'm saying? No risk and no biscuit. But yeah, man, let's get into these topics, man. Because I know you've been ready to talk about Miss Sweetie. It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, And I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro. And I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable. And the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine, anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.